हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय ऑनलाइन प्रेप प्लेटफॉर्म सो आई होप कि आपने अभी तक हमारी पुरानी वीडियोस इस सीरीज बेसिकली रिवीजन सीरीज की देख ली होंगी एंड द नेम ऑफ टुडे चैप्टर इज थ्योरी ऑफ प्रोबेबिलिटी सो डोंट फॉरगेट टू टेल मी व्हाट इज योर प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ पासिंग दिस सी ए आई आई बी टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री एग्जामिनेशन आई एम वेरी इगर टू नो अबाउट इट सिंस इट इज गोइंग टू टेल यू द लेवल ऑफ योर प्रिपरेशन फॉर द सेम सो आज का हमारा चैप्टर है थ्योरी ऑफ प्रोबेबिलिटी इसमें हम कवर करेंगे ऑब्जेक्टिव्स, इंट्रोडक्शन मैथमेटिकल डेफिनेशन कंडीशनल प्रोबेबिलिटी रैंडम वेरिएबल प्रोबेबिलिटी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन एक्सपेक्टेशन एंड स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन ऑफ रैंडम वेरिएबल बायोनॉमियल पॉइजन एंड नॉर्मल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन अलॉन्ग विद क्रेडिट रिस्क वैल्यूएशन एट रिस्क एंड ऑप्शनल वैल्यू सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड टू सम ऑफ द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एमसीक्यूज फॉर प्रोबेबिलिटी चैप्टर First question is, what is the probability of it raining on a weekend if the weather forecast says there is a 40% chance of rain? 40% chance means 0.4 because in probability we have one which is equals to 100%. So 40% chance means 0.4. So the concerned answer is option number B, which is same as 0.4. a very easy question next question says that in how many ways four girls and two boys can be selected from a group of six girls and four boys so the formula would be ncr so here the total number of girls is six and we have to choose four multiplied by total number of boys are four we have to choose two so this would be six factorial upon 4 factorial multiplied by 6 minus 4 factorial then again we have 4 factorial upon 2 factorial here 4 minus 2 factorial so after solving this we will get it as 6 into 5 into 4 factorial upon 4 factorial into 2 factorial also multiplied by it would be equals to 4 factorial upon 2 factorial into 2 factorial so we can split 4 factorial as 4 into 3 into 2 factorial we are going to cancel this out so we have our answer as 15 multiplied by we have here as 6 this is equals to 90 ways so correct option is option number c which is 90 ways What is an example of an impossible event in rolling a die? The first is getting a one or a two, getting an even number, getting a number greater than six, or getting a number seven. So out of these options, getting a number seven is something which you cannot ever get on rolling a die. So here option D would be correct. You can easily get a number greater than six. If you roll more than one die, but if you are rolling a single die, you cannot get a number which is greater than seven. So in rolling a die, the possible outcomes are one, two, three, four, five, and six, but you never can get a seven on rolling a die. We have two unbiased coins that are tossed simultaneously. What is the probability of getting majority of hits? If we are tossing two coins, अगर हम एक साथ दो coins को toss करेंगे तो probability ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा heads की क्या होगी? तो possible outcomes है head head, tail head, head tail और tail head. तो ये चार possible outcomes हैं जो हमारे हो सकते हैं. हमें ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा head चाहिए. तो हमारा sample space में क्या आएगा? Head head, head tail और tail head. So we have three upon four. Majority of heads मतलब ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा head, so ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा head तो सिर्फ एक ही case में जब head head है, तो answer होगा one by four. Three by four तब हमारा answer होता जब हम कहते हैं यहाँ पर कि at least one head है, या at most या maximum number of heads. So यहाँ पर हमें बताना है majority heads मतलब सबसे ज़्यादा heads की क्या possibility है? तो head जब single single times given है तो दोनों की 50-50 परसेंट पॉसिबिलिटी है 
पर दोनों हेड्स आए इसकी पॉसिबिलिटी है 0.25 पॉइंट विच इज इक्वल्स टू वन बाय फोर सो ऑप्शन डी इज द करेक्ट आंसर इन दिस केस वॉट इज द प्रोबेबिलिटी मास फंक्शन सिलेक्ट द मोस्ट अप्रोप्रिएट आंसर अमंग्स द गिवन ऑप्शन the probability that an event will occur in a random experiment the set of events that can occur in the random experiment the values of a random variable along with its corresponding probabilities in a discrete pro probability distribution and the d is the total number of possible outcomes in a random experiment so here correct answer would be option number c because probability mass function is something which tells us that there is a sample space for a discrete variable let's say it is x which gives the probability that x is equals to a certain value so this is why probability mass function is quite important because it corresponds to the probability under the discrete probability distribution so we have my online prep application for all of you so that you can attempt as many as mock test and can analyze your score your weak points your strong points and also can have a swot analysis for all of the chapters that for which chapter is your strength which chapter is your weakness where you have opportunities where you have threats so make a complete analysis with the helps of videos and mock tests which are freely available on our platform that is my online prep application and you can also access these with the help of our website of my online prep what is the probability mass function of a poison random variable with the parameter lambda so this is a quite literature question where you need to know the formula that we use under probability mass function so it is e of lambda x or it is lambda to the power x upon x factorial or it is x by lambda or it is e to the power x by lambda so in this case the correct answer would be option number b why because the probability mass function of a poison random variable with the parameter lambda would be given by f of x equals to e to the power lambda multiplied by lambda to the power x and then we have x factorial which could be written in the form of even non negative integer values which of the following represents the calculation for expected loss in a credit risk again a literature question where you need to know the formula to calculate the expected loss in the credit risk the first option says that it is probability by default multiplied by exposure at default within bracket 1 plus loss given default or it is probability of default plus exposure at default plus loss given default the third option is probability of default multiplied by exposure at default multiplied by loss given default or the last option which says expected loss equals to probability of default multiplied by exposure at default multiplied by 1 minus loss given default so the correct option here would be option number d because what happens is under expected loss credit risk we calculate probability of default we multiply it with exposure at default and also by estimating a part of loan which would be lost in the case of default which is represented by 1 minus loss given at default so d is the correct option for this portion a bag contains 8 white and 10 black balls if two balls are to be drawn simultaneously from the bag what is the probability of getting both are the white balls so first of all we need to calculate the total number of cases for the c which would be 18 c2 which could be solved as 18 factorial upon 2 factorial multiplied by 16 factorial 
and when both are white balls the cases would be 8c2 which is equals to 8 factorial upon 2 factorial multiplied by 6 factorial so when we are going to apply white case that is 8 factorial upon 2 factorial multiplied by 6 factorial upon total number of cases which was 18 factorial divided by 2 factorial into 16 factorial we will get it as 153 we will get it as 28 upon 153 which is equals to 0 0.183. So, we can say that for this option B would be correct because the probability of getting both the white balls would be 0.18. In this question, we have to find standard deviation from an X series. So, first of all, we have to find summation of X and F which is equals to 1 multiplied by 0.4 plus 2 multiplied by 0.2 plus 3 multiplied by 0 0.3 gives us the answer as 1.7 and then we have to find the square of it that is 1 square multiplied by 0 0.4 plus 2 square multiplied by 0 0.2 plus 3 square multiplied by 0 0.3 gives us the answer as 3.9 so for the variance we have to deduct both these that is 3.9 minus 1.7 to the whole square which gives us the answer as 1.01 and when we have variance so for standard deviation we need to take the root of variance which is equals to under root of 1.01 gives us the answer as 1.004 so for this question option b is the correct answer another question of the same type here we have different x and f series so same thing we have to do that is first of all summation x and f we have to calculate which is 1 multiplied by 0 0.2 plus 2 multiplied by 0 0.3 plus 3 multiplied by 0 0.5 total of this would be 2.3 then we are going to take the square of it that is 1 square multiplied by 0 0.2 plus 2 square multiplied by 0 0.3 plus 3 square multiplied by 0 0.5 this gives us the answer as 5.9. Again, we have to go for variance which is equals to 5.9 minus 2.3 to the whole square which is equals to 0 0.61. And the standard deviation in this case would be under root of variance that is 0 0.61 which is equals to 0 0.78. So, the correct option in this case would be option number B. Do not forget to subscribe the channel so that you cannot afford to miss any of our videos that are so helpful that can even get you 60 plus score in your CA IIB 2023 examination. So let's get connected. Keep learning with us. Thank you.